But I'm not done in here though. I'm not gonna lie, let's look at the showcase. There are matching shoes and suits of many colors here. Oh no, nah, Kokichi was doing all them black faces and he got afros. Nah, bro, y'all can't keep defending Kokichi on my comments, bro. <laughs> Hell nah, this is your goat, this is your king. I don't think I didn't see y'all say that. This is your king? This is your goat? Black face, afros, and suits? It's your boy Most Hated JC back at y'all with another episode of that Dangin' Rompa V3 Killing Harmony, my brothers and sisters, bro. And today, you know, it's the start of a new chapter, which kind of pains me to say because I think it might not be crazy to say this is the beginning of the end, bro. <laughs> this is the start of the final chapter of Danganronpa V3. I mean, I know we've been playing this game for a while, but like, you know I love me some Danganronpa, bro. And I know we're still gonna have a few episodes till we get there, but it's like, man. It's over. <laughs> it's so over. <laughs> but hey, we still got a whole other chapter to enjoy, bro. So hey, that the last episode, the last half of the class show didn't go public yet, so I don't know how y'all felt about it, but I hope it was worth your while, you know? That was the longest video I ever made, and I already know the finale's gonna be longer. <laughs> <laughs> them four hour class trials be testing me but i hope you know they're up to your enjoyment every time and the time just seems to fly by you know but enough about another video let's focus on this one bro don't daddy further ado man let's start this final chapter bro all right all right all right hope you're having a good day because like i said you know i am when you see this game getting posted or just me posting in general <laughs> So let's just pick up where we left off. No yeah, bro. Chapter 5 end. Let's see what this chapter 6 talking about, man. You know, the start of the chapters usually be crazy, bro. Hope you're having a good day. Y'all know I am. I know I said that already, but you know. Say it twice to make sure. Hello? <laughs> I'm like, why is the screen black for so long? Don't tell me my game crashed. Uh, no. We don't know nobody. Is this Junko? <laughs> we saw her at the end of last episode. Oh. I guess I should introduce myself. <laughs> no, that's no way you start the chapter with this. My name's Makoto. I don't have any talents or anything. I'm just a regular teenager. Cause I was gonna say, are they finna? <laughs> Cause I was gonna say, ain't this how the first game started? They really doing all callbacks this last two chapters. <laughs> This boring looking person is me. That is not the Makoto I was thinking about. Never mind. <laughs> this is somebody completely different, bro. Who is this? Rock Lee? See? Even the way I look is normal. My fault for Rosie. You're clearly on it and going through some self loathing, bro. Getting into an elite school like this was just the start of my bad luck. Is this supposed to be a parody of the first game now? Like, what's going on here? I can't keep up with my classmates' conversations or the teachers' lectures. Right. I'm just treated like empty space in the classroom. Hey, at least you got in, so you're better than average, right? At home, my parents are constantly on my case. Why? What you be doing? Honestly, I'm fed up. Oh, God. Please don't tell me this is about to go where I think it's about to go. Like, it's dang rompa, bro. I want to run away from my daily life. Right. I want to run away and just forget all this. Be careful what you ask for, bro, because, like, I know what happens if you run away from daily life and forget things. <laughs> I've been living it for 34 episodes. I want to run away and run away and run away and run away and run away. Run away from me, baby. Run away. Run away from me, baby. Like, you're not Kanye. But I'm okay. Okay. I have a reason to live. I've 
got something to look forward to. That's good to hear, brother. That's why I'm gonna be okay. We gonna be okay. That's another Kanye song, ain't it? Thanks for the courage. Who you got that courage from? What phone is that? Samsung? Okay. Thanks for giving me something to get totally obsessed with. Is he talking about the killing game we're living through? Thanks for the strength to keep going. Because they did say someone was watching. I'll keep on rooting for you. So please keep trying your best. He's talking about us. And one day, I'll also... You'll also do what, Makoto? What happened? I forgot we left off with Kimo just booming everything, blaming everything, bro. <laughs> How could I forget? What did you say? The school building blew up. What happened? And we're just starting off like this. Like I said, the chapters always start off crazy. Mm -hmm. Over there. I turned my head to where Maki was pointing. And it's just Kibo. Oh, he really just lit the school up. Not the dorms, bro. Kibo, you wildin', gang. We know you don't need this stuff to live, but we do. What are we gonna do? Huh? K Kibo, he's still going. What was that? Kibo, what are you doing, right? Yeah. You're flying. Is it magic? Can he even hear us? So I'm assuming this is going to happen in the middle of our workout from yesterday. Well, last episode. I don't know what he's planning, but it looks like he's attacking the school indiscriminately. Like, do he care if we get caught in the crossfire? We need to hurry and stop him. We'll get caught up in this mess if we don't. But how do we stop him? All right. We have to talk to him. We can get him to come down. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous, but let's go to the courtyard and try to get his attention. They really picked off right where we left off. Oh, my. Yeah, you're right. I mean, if it's the final chapter, it can't just start off regular, right? Confused by the situation unfolding in front of us, we ran to the center of the courtyard. Oh, my gosh, Kibo. And I was just thinking you was cool. Yo, Aho Gate knocked out your common sense, bro. Like, what's going on here? Ah, it's like a battlefield. Right when we were just being hopeful again. Damn it. We need to get his attention. Get him to come down. Please. Kibo, come here. Hey. Are you trying to get us killed? Kibo. Please, Kibo, come down and talk to us. You know he hear us. I shouted out to Kibo, who finally came to a halt midair. Like, bro, you got super hearing, bro. And then slowly fell down to us. Flew down, sorry. Mm hey. -hmm. Here he comes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Kibo. Are you good, bro? Did you call for me? Uh, yeah, you're blowing up where we lay down at night. Maki, why are you standing like that? You making fun of him? Damn, he look he looks swaggy though. Please keep it brief. I have other matters I must attend to. Oh yeah, he lost what make him human, bro. He's just a robot now, for real. That Aho game made him human, bro. Huh? Other matters? Yes. I'm going to end the killing game. He looks so weird without his little Aho game, bro. That's crazy. Huh? End the killing game? Indeed. To do that, I must destroy the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. What did you say? Now, where are we gonna live, Kibo? What are we finna do? D destroy it! That's right. The killing game cannot go on if I destroy this school in its entirety. Could it be? So that's why you have that weapon? Hey. What's with that weapon in the jetpack, freak? Yeah. I obtained this equipment from my lab. Huh? You had equipment like that in your lab, you know, before before he was being so stubborn, talking about he don't want nothing to do with it, and now like you know, 
He don't care no more. He ready to <laughs> say F it all, burn it all. Yes. I made some modifications to drastically improve their power output and functionality. Wait. Since when have you been doing, been able to do that? You didn't level up or anything, right? Uh, speaking of level, you see me 54. Did something happen? Right, when he lost his, his little thingy, uh, his little alfalfa. Do I gotta pause that? I feel like I should. Didn't you say that you didn't want to use anything from the lab? Right. That's right. You don't like looking sci-fi. That's right. Yes. I wanted to be treated like a real human. A creature of flesh and blood like you all. You notice how that's all past tense he said it in? I have decided. But I no longer have the luxury of clinging to that wish anymore. I... My course is clear. I must destroy this academy and end this killing game. Hold on, this virus is hurting my ear, bro. Hold on. You can't! Hold on! If you do something like that, we'll all die too, you know? Right, Kibo? Like, do you not care if we die? There's no oxygen in the outside world. There are no living things. And I mean, Monokuma did say people are out there. Somebody's what? Oh, well, no, Monokuma didn't say. But, you know, we assume people's out there watching us. And, you know, what we just saw at the beginning of this episode. You know, maybe that was Cap. But how would they fake this, though, you know? Maybe it's not Earth, but a different planet? I don't know. We're only able to survive because we're inside the spaceship, you know? Mm. Right. That's right. Are you trying to kill us too? Yes. What happened to if nobody got my back? I know Kibo do. He really switched up on us. If my actions result in your deaths, so be it. So Kibo really is the ops now. Huh? So be it. That's. Monokuma told us that despair is our only choice. That hope does not exist here. Unfortunately. He is right, so you believe in your cousin. As long as this killing game continues, only despair awaits us. No. Wait, we still have hope. Remember, our hope is everyone here. Our friends who are still alive. The Danganronpa is the thing we found along the way. <laughs> like, You're what right. are you... I mean, yeah, it's the power of friendship. We need it right now. I'm not gonna lie. What else can we cling on to, really? Yeah. If we all work together, even this killing game will... 100%. It will not stop. It will never stop. Well, I mean, with the way you're acting, probably not. You're giving us motive right now. <laughs> you're saying either you're gonna kill us or we have to stop you. Like, bro, you're you're actively in in instigating it, bro. What should we do? And even if we did manage to stop this killing game and escape, where would we go? I mean, we could just take over this place, bro. Earth is destroyed. Humanity is extinct. We have no home to return to. He he's cooking, though. Uh, what? That might be true, but... Which means... Monokuma is right. Despair is all we have here. We simply do not have the power to change the outside world on our own. Everyone! All we can do now is refuse to submit to despair! So, you're saying we, but you're trying to kill us all right now. Hey! That's what I'm saying, right? You move like Maki from the beginning of uh, Last Trial. And you would be willing to let all of us die to accomplish that? Logical. That is a fair better alternative than allowing Monokuma to continue the killing game. Oh, now you're dumb. What was that? Uh, are you serious? Listen closely. Kaito and Kokichi gave their lives to end this killing game. Yeah, and if you didn't notice, Kibo, Kokichi made the sacrifice he did so he would he and Kaito would die and not the rest of us would have to die. <laughs> you're literally taking away their sacrifices, bro. Like, what are you doing here? We should follow their example. We should be willing to give our lives to end this killing game. Yeah, Kibo, for a robot, you're an idiot. <laughs> I guess you can't factor in the human factor of, of those choices. What do you mean? Is that what your inner voice is telling you to do? No. I can no longer hear that voice. Yeah, that's why you're tweaking out right now. Huh? 
can't hear it anymore? That's right. For some reason, my inner voice has gone silent. This decision is my will. My choice. I have decided. I've chosen to modify myself and destroy this academy. Everyone! We can never submit to despair because we are students of Hope Speak Academy. You're a robot. No. That's wrong. Why? Wrong. That's... Because there might still be hope. There might still be a place to call home. Tell him, Shu! We know people's watching this. Let me move that little kid Makoto. Well then. And what are you basing that claim on? That's wrong. Nothing. That's not the slay you think it is, King. But... I just have a feeling. I mean, we feeling good now, I guess, so. You. Just a feeling? You sound like that idiot right now. Because... Kaito said so. I'm not gonna lie, I wish they had him voice act, you know, it would've hit a little different. It's just like Okichi said. If this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. You know? Okay. And you were the one who was trying to believe Kokichi's last words? Kibo, lock in! It can be no killing game without an audience. Um... Old Speak Academy was the same way. It was a killing game made for an audience. Yeah, both times, bro. This game must be the same way. Someone is watching this somewhere. There's someone left. Yeah, they watching this in class, Yuichi. Like, it's a YouTube video. Like, it's my videos, bro. There's still a possibility. True. You cannot say there's absolutely no possibility. But even a mere possibility. No, that's wrong. That possibility is our hope, idiot! Huh? What? Because... We haven't investigated everything. There are still a lot of mysteries in this school, which we will try and find out this episode. You know, usually the first episode of the chapter is investigation. It's, uh, school investigation. But Kiba blew up a lot of stuff, so... Maybe that opened new doors? I don't know. If there are still questions to answer, then we haven't found the truth. Um... And that means we can't give up. We can't give up before we reach the truth! Spoken like a true ultimate detective. Exactly, keep up. Believe my logic, bro. Come on, rethink it. I understand. Very well. I shall cooperate with your attempt to start this killing game your way. Now that's the Kibo we know and love. Thank you. Kibo. Listen closely. But you have until dawn. I will not wait any longer than that. We're pulling an all-nighter? Huh? Until dawn? Yeah. The dawn here is simply an illusion projected onto the dome. If you cannot stop the killing game by dawn, 100%. I will destroy the ultimate academy and end the killing game myself. <laughs> I was gonna say Monokuma really finna let all them bombs slide. You're gonna end what now? Uh oh, Kibo, face your cousin, head out. I tell you, it's impossible to end the killing game! Like, look how little he is. He's lucky he got exosols or he would have been hunted in chapter zero, bro. Little shrimp, bro. Cause the killing game is forever eternal! Who's controlling this little freak, bro? Why you? He's back! Attempting to destroy this precious academy is more than a violation of school regulations. I didn't see that one in the handbook, big bro. You might have to add it now or something. It's an act of mutiny. That's enough. So what? You are sorely, mis you are sorely mistaken if you think I will allow this to continue. Ugh, press some Kibo. Hmm. Is the robot malfunctioning? He must be. Why else would he try to defy me? Let's do this! Then let's kill him until he dies for me! Hell yeah! That's what killing somebody means, idiot. Leave it to me! Ripping the robot apart isn't gory at all, so I can go all out this time! And that's that. Bob, can we kill him? Please? <laughs> They're so brazen because they don't have any hair downstairs! What? How do you know that? 
Well, any last words? <laughs> They're all in battle mode. Everyone. This place is dangerous. You all need to get out of here. Kibo. Are you okay? He finna try and solo squad Monokuma into Exorcist? I mean, he's probably our best bet, huh? With his new upgrades. Yeah. Shuichi, please find this truth that you mentioned earlier while I stall them. Uh, okay, Kibo. He's still being real. Well then. It's all in your hands now. Now go. Hey, Kibo. I got this. Do this for you, big bro. Okay. All right. You can count on me. Never forgive rule breakers. Anyone who messes with the killing game must die. Like he getting all angry the whole time. He finna sit in the back and watch as his kids get smoked. Exorcists assemble! Y'all are not the Avengers. Stop it right now, please. Like he over there jumping in the air. Relax. No, I won't let you run amok anymore. This killing game is over. There you go, Kimo. Hit him with that beam. Hit him with that Kimo beam. In the name of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbol of hope itself. He said, "Oh, Hope's Peak." I will destroy the Ultimate Academy and bring down this monument to despair. Hold on, bro. They might actually like that. They freaky like that. Ooh, Kimo! That's how it began. In the war between Kibo and the Exosuls, the Ultimate Academy became a battlefield. Here I'm thinking we might have at least a regular start to the chapter, you know? But nah, they just, they gotta go out with a bang. This is really the final chapter, y'all. Keep on wildin'. <laughs> Keep on wildin'. Goodbye, Dangin' Rompa. Dangin' Rompa. Well, I mean, yeah, this is the last one in the series. Aw, oh, man, that hurts. <laughs> Seeing that actually hurts, bro. What the hell? We ran to the entrance hall. Trying to escape the battle that was unfolding. You know, they gotta end it. If this is the last game in the franchise, they gotta end it well. You've seen how it's been up to so far, so they gotta finish strong. They got to. It's a must. Me and my hero. <laughs> Me, Samugi, Himiko Maki. Who would have thought this would be the end game squad, bro? I know I sure did it, bruh. I mean, I like everybody here still, though, so I'm not too mad about it, but it's just like, damn, this is not the squad I was expecting. The only one the only one who's still here that I probably thought was going to be endgame is Himiko and Maki. <laughs> Samugi and Kibo, I didn't really think they would be endgame, not going to lie. Things have suddenly become really bad. <laughs> so the robot uprising finally happened. It's what I always feared, but... Why you? I never expected it to be like this. You talking about Robot Uprising, like this Detroit become human? Why? But why did Monokuma leave a weapon like that in the research lab, right? Because I was finna say, he's not gonna like give them nothing they can't that he can't handle if they try to use it against him, right? He's pretty careless, isn't he? You know? Oh my gosh, they getting busy as we speak, bro! <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Right? Hey, what should we do? Remember, just as I said before, we need to find the truth in order to end this killing game. What's that mean? Okay, but what do we need to look for? <sighs> Obviously, we need to find the real identity of the mastermind behind the killing game. Let's see these two's reactions to that. Like, you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Now, now she's like, is there really a mastermind in the cold sweat? A mastermind? Is there really a mastermind in this academy? Because. If the outside world is destroyed, then the mastermind must be in this school, right? Kokichi wasn't the mastermind. Then in that case. I don't know. But I thought the only one saved by the Gopher Project was a 16 students. That means the mastermind is among the 16, he Himiko. Like, put it together. Nope. Don't you think it's possible someone may have infiltrated the Gopher Project? What you mean by someone, though? Like, another remnant of despair? Like, what are we talking? That's right. That someone could be the mastermind hiding somewhere in this school. Like I said, that's what we're about this chapter. 
No more killing. We gotta see who the mastermind is. Um, someone. You mean a remnant of despair, right? And someone else inside this academy. Besides Kokichi is a remnant of despair? I mean, Koki we never confirmed that, like, even though Kokichi was the supreme leader of some type of, uh, weird cult, we never confirmed he was a remnant of despair, did we? Or, like, is that just me being biased to my delusions? Like... That's true. If we can find them and kill them, then this killing game should end. Uh, um... I don't know about killing them. But... There is the possibility that the mastermind is hiding somewhere in this academy. But shoot, if we don't kill the mastermind, what do you want to do? Just tie them up and give them a slap on the wrist? This complex is huge. There must be places we haven't explored yet. That's right. It seems like it's worth a shot. But... And that's not the only thing we have to find. To truly end this killing game, we must find this mastermind of despair. That's... And also, find hope. But didn't we already do that in our friendship? Huh? <laughs> like what? Hope? Remember. Our home. Where we're going to live after this killing game ends. Uh, look at Shuichi thinking, taking charge, thinking of the future. I know there is hope out there. We have to find it before we leave. jeez. Oh, this isn't some fictional story, so I don't think things will work out that well. Oh, it is, sis. You just don't know it. Hey. But if we look for it, we might, we just might find it. If we don't try, we'll never find anything at all. Okay. So we have to try, you know, can't blame a guy for trying. That's true. Since Kibo is distracting the exorcist, we won't have to worry about violating school rules. Now look at Kibo solo squatting, bro. Kibo over there conducting a 1v6, bro. I'm including Monokuma, even though he's not in the exorcist. Okay. There must be other rooms that we haven't investigated yet. Oh! You're right. There's no point complaining. Let's all just do what we can. Like I say, bro, suspect number... <laughs> Kibo's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Exorcist and, and Monokuma right now, so he not the mastermind, bro. That only leaves one person. We know who it is. I'm looking right at her. Mm -hmm. Well, if we all work together, everything will be all right, right? Okay. Yeah. It shouldn't be difficult. Uh, look at her still smiling. No matter how impossible it seems, we'll accomplish it. Squad. Maki. Me and okay. Maki's bond is stronger than ever, and I'd love to see it. Yes. That's right. Let's go, squad. Right. We need to find the hope and despair hidden in this academy. When all is revealed, this killing game will end. <laughs> I mean, obviously, that's our next point of interest, but like, well, damn, off the rip, let's lock in, y'all, okay? Then let's split up and start searching. Chapter 6 coming different, bro. Mm -hmm. We're gonna split up? But we were just in such a united mode. I mean, we don't have the luxury of time on our side. Keep us scrapping for his life. But, well, we don't have enough time left to all go together, unfortunately. I wish we, man, I wish we could do split in teams of two, bro, because I don't like her going alone. I don't. We need somebody to keep an eye on her, bro. You're right. Right. We'll see each other soon. Nah, I don't like some right. going solo. I'm not going to lie. All right. I should go, too. You need to end this killing game before dawn. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You never yell again. That was so, like... Like, you see how he was just so gangsta and much of a G and then he yelling. It's like back to like, chill. <laughs> like, damn. Wait, what happened? One of them broke in? Please don't tell me that's Kibo. <laughs> don't tell me Kibo got handled like that, bro. Hmm. What? A hole? What even happened? Now it is. Now it is time to test your bonds with your friends. The time to dawn in your bond with your friends will be displayed. Huh? If your bond increases, you can move large debris. So work hard to end this killing game before dawn breaks. What are you talking about? You see that Monokuma moving in the background? 
Wait, what? Hold on, bro. Don't think I don't see this in the back, though. Come here, Monokuma. Oh, my God. Everything all shaky? Come here, boy. I mean, I know it's the end of the game. So I'm really on a time limit until dawn. No super massive games. So am I supposed to go down here? There's a staircase? Why is there a staircase here? Was this staircase supposed to be unlocked by a mysterious item? Hmm. There must be clues here. I had to investigate. And even if this is a trap, it's too obvious to not, you know? Like, how can I ignore this? But notice we see this once, you know? Once everybody splits up, I'm really on the time limit. I can't even afford to really yap like that. Um, I don't know what you want me to do here. So that's that's what we doing. We just slapping that out the way. Okay. Let's do this then. This is an interesting command. Yo, this chapter starting off nutty, bro. <laughs> what is going on? I was I was lower energy today. I mean, as y'all probably saw in the Persona episode. But this one, like, they instantly started with the energy because you know Persona was more chill vibes today. It's broken, but from this door. This must be an ultimate lab. This isn't open, but there's only one ultimate lab left. Kokichi's. Okay. It's Kokichi's. The ultimate supreme leader's lab. And we still never saw Rentaro's lab as well. Don't think I forgot. This door isn't supposed to open. Right. By the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is open, then that lab will remain closed. Damn, I kind of wanted to see his lab, though. But Kibo's explosive broke the door. I should be able to get inside. Talk about it. Imagine Kokichi was lying about his talent the whole time, though. I'm kind of intrigued now. I have to go inside. Because who's to say he was telling the truth about his talent, you know? Okay, no, this ultimate supreme leader lab. Never mind. <laughs> nah, this is for... He never... You think he's Batman? You see the, mo the mobile? So this is Kokichi's lab. It certainly does have that evil organization feel. Like, bro, really thought he was Batman. But there's nothing that would identify the remnants of this. Like I said, Kokichi may have been crazy and weird and a cult leader, but he wasn't a remnant of despair. Let's show him that the students of Host Peak Academy will never submit to despair. I mean, we know that was Kaito, but like he followed the script. Kaito don't know what that is either. Hope, despair, Kokichi, Koki. Okay, see this. I'm glad to talk about because remember that kept bugging me. I'm like, when did Kokichi say he was a remnant of despair though? Like it's cool that they tied it back, but like he never, he never. He, well, even if he didn't know, I guess he wouldn't because he didn't know everything was connected from that flashback light. At that time, Kaito was in the Exorcist. I'm saying, but it didn't seem like he knew anything about the remnants of despair. So, by default, Kokichi wouldn't have. Kokichi and Kaito weren't there when we used that flashback light. It's crazy we're starting off the chapter with an investigation episode, bruh. But even without that memory, the truth is the same. If this lab was made for Kokichi, there should be some link to the remnants. Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. I should investigate thoroughly. All right, let's do this then. We're really starting off with an investigation episode. That's crazy to me. Supercar. Ah, a supercar? Is this the kind of thing that members of this evil organization drive around that whole Batmobile? But would an evil organization really want to drive around in such flashy cars? This is more like a child's idea of what an evil organization will have. What I've been calling Kokichi, five years old in the membrane for how many episodes? Like, come on now. I'd be on to something a little bit. You, you feel me? What is this? A book? About? There's a collection of files here bound like a book. Huh? The Complete History of Hope's Peak Academy? I pick up the book and begin rapidly flipping through the pages. And inside... What's going? Another call back to the first and second games, bro. Wow, I love this. <laughs> Information on Host Peak Academy. 
Future Foundation and the remnants of despair. And you see Makoto got his own little front page where he was talking to the headmaster about say, staying in the whole speak academy for the rest of his life. Yeah, I remember, bro. This is a history of the battle between hope and despair. It's so fire they showed these pictures again. But we've already remembered all this. We know this information. Uh, this is so fire to see. I don't suppose it'd make for a particularly useful clue. I mean, we're gonna have a final trial against the Mastermind, right? I don't suppose. What you mean? What he caught on to that I did it. No, something's not right. Something is off because the things written in this book. Was it really? Do you really have time to read a book? What, does it make it seem like we're not hundreds of years apart from each other? Like, what's going on? Uh, Maki, you're gonna wanna read this too if I give it to you, sis. I flinched in surprise as Maki peeked at the thick book in my hands. What? The complete history of Host Peak Academy. What's the point of reading this now? How did you even find me? But I'm glad we're together, though. But I'm kind of worried for Himiko now. <laughs> that means her and Samugi are both alone. You already remember Host Peak Academy with the flashback light, didn't you? No. Yeah. I, I thought that as well. Hey. Maki, this is perfect timing. Will you come with me? Huh? For what? Is that all right? I need you to tell me everything you remember about the history of Host Peak Academy. Is that the memory he took? Why? Whoa! That's... I need to check something important, right? To cross-check the information. Why should I not remember anything, though? <sighs> I don't really understand. But I just need to talk about it, right? He gave me a big, almost theatrical sigh that started speaking in bored narration. Okay? It all began at Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> I love the callbacks, bro. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Hit us again for the one time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The world was plunged into ruin, and humanity into the depths of despair. Like I said, I know this is a crazy thing to get hype over, but if you know, you know. This tragic event was caused by a lone high school girl. Junko and Oshima. The ultimate despair. The ultimate despair. Junko and Oshima. Uh, <laughs> the callback is beautiful. In order to fulfill her plans to plunge humanity and the world into utter despair. Right. She organized the killing game of Hope's Peak Academy's 78th class. The real ones, bro. Shout out to the OG cast from the first one. Trigger happy havoc with it. Trapped by the ultimate despair. The 78th class... They really showed all of it. Yeah, that's so fire. They're showing all the pictures, bro. Was forced to participate in the killing game. Oh my god. I, like I said, I wish I could. Like, if I could erase my memory of any games, it would be Dang and Rumpa 1 and 2, so I could play it on the channel for y'all. I really wish I could, bro. But, like, I already know everything. Man, I'm, oh, I missed that first game, bro. Wow. But in the end, Junko and Oshima died at the hands of the very killing game she masterminded. You know, she may be crazy, but she was bad, though. She was bad, you see her. <laughs> death, the despair outbreaks ended, and the world slowly began to recover. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. But the remnants of despair continued to carry out Junko's legacy. Like I said, I need this track played at all my life's greatest achievements, bro. The Future Foundation was established to fight against them, and their war raged on. Right. Until one day, when the war suddenly ended. And that's about that meteorite to virus stuff, right? Yeah. Meteorites, right? You can skip that part. But should we, though? Because maybe that's fundamental, bro. Because when, like, her saying that... Cause I'm thinking the maybe the lie the lie here is that we're not really that far removed from like as we originally thought, you know? 
talking about some hundreds of years because Kokichi told us that. You know what I mean? Maybe it hasn't been that long, and that's why not all of humanity's wiped out. Maybe they were able to salvage some other parts aside from us. You know? Is that all right? Do you remember anything about the new Host Peak Academy right, that we supposedly attended? As for Host Peak Academy... Right, this is the it new was one. later rebuilt by former members of the Future Foundation and resumed operations. Which is what we were led to believe. So maybe this is where the lie is. They continued to scout students who possessed ultimate level talent. And that's all we know. Because that almost begs the question, why would you like... Nah, I mean, nah, I can see why you would rebuild the school. You know, ultimate students, you know, you kind of need that. But, mm, But notice we have no memory of it. This doesn't make sense. Look at him hitting his Chuni detective pose. No, that doesn't make sense. Because what Maki just told me is exactly what I remember. Then, what is written in the book? Are these just lies? So I'm guessing they never rebuilt? Or are they the truth? I turned to one of the pages almost without thinking. What's wrong? What's this page show? No. It's just the afterword written on the last page. Hmm. It says that these documents were collected by several esteemed researchers. This is the most thorough, accurate book written on the subject. And if there's no new host speak in there, bro, y'all got y'all got scammed. <laughs> maybe we weren't maybe we were brainwashed into believing we were ultimate students. Cause at the beginning of the game, remember we started off regular? Maybe when they hit us with that first flashback, like it made us think we were ultimate the whole time we weren't. Well, it says it's the complete history, so what's the problem? The problem is, if this is true, but then we have our lives' memories, though, right? Like uh, what we were doing before Hope's Peak. History of Hope's Peak has been added to the true blood section of Monopad. Cause like how Shu was talking about previous cases, Maki talking about previous jobs, Kaito's medical exam, Kaede talking about how she been a musical prodigy. Can they just manufacture memories out the blue like that? I mean, I would assume so, right? We can't ignore these inconsistencies. I should investigate more. In order to investigate this, I need to know more about Kokichi. I found this in his lab after all. So we back to investigating. Hey. Monkey, I think I'm going to go to Kokichi's room now. We still got more lab to look at, Shu. What? Why Kokichi's room? I'm... I have to verify something. Like, if he was really a remnant of despair. I have to determine which things he said were the truth and which were lies. I'm kind of glad that Kokichi's still in playing, a play, uh, playing an important role, you know? Like how Mew still plays an important role after death. Kaede, even though Kokichi was like, you know, you know, I didn't like him as a person, but as a character and like in terms of moving stuff along, he is necessary. You know, he is necessary. Okay. Including if he really was a remnant of despair. Yeah, he never confirmed to himself. What are you trying to pull? There's no doubt he was a remnant of despair. Because in that memory, yeah, Maki, question it. Okay, okay. Well, whatever. If that's what you want to do, then I won't stop you. Thank you. Uh, you see, she just like, I'm gonna let him cook. He saved us more than I can count. I never would have imagined this. That Kokichi's lie might be the breakthrough we need to, we need to find the truth. Uh. The hell was that? Uh. Maki, do you feel this too? What is this? What's happening? And they're gonna do it again. Did I just pass out? Huh? Is that the Makoto kid from the beginning? Did he hit us with a delayed flashback light? How the heck does that 
work? Hey, what's going on? What the hell? Hello. Are you one of the chosen for the Gopher Project? Oh, uh, why? Well, well, we knew it was public information. That's why there was riots and stuff. Gopher Project? They sent kids to let us know we got chose? I saw you on a flyer on the ground. Oh, the ultimate hunt. Damn. Damn, she with the hat. Like, he really ain't never put that hat back on, bro. That's crazy. That's the remnants of despair is doing. Gopher Project participants are classified. That little kid a remnant of despair, ain't he? Are you one of them? I'm really good at remembering faces. Whole time that's like a little assassin, bro. Yeah, I get that a lot. Just a case of mistaken identity, I'm afraid. And you just lacking on a park bench shoe. You wasn't ten toes, bro. They're all students from Hope's Peak Academy, aren't they? Right. I'm just a normal high school student. I don't have any special talent. Are they really go going with that we were just normal people the whole time and just brainwashed to think we were ultimates? I see. But you look just like him. Yeah, but then why would I look like somebody? Don't worry about that. Hey, listen, should you really be outside right now? The meteor... I'm not scared of them. Oh, yeah, this little kid's nuts, bro. He's part of the remnants. <laughs> He's a remnant in training, bro. Because my dad told me the Future Foundation will take care of those meteor rights. That's how much hope they put back in the world. If the Gopher Project succeeds, then the meteorites won't fall down. Oh my gosh. No, I've heard the Gopher Project doesn't exist to save us. Yeah, it's to save the Ultimates, bro. Have you heard the rumor? All the participants died in an accident. So is he just playing up to it because, like, this is after, like, they disagree to it, you know? You're wrong. They didn't die. Oh, and he gonna say, because you're looking at one right now? How would you know that? <laughs> he see your face, you. Because those people are the heroes that will save the world, right? Oh, never mind. He just a Lulu. The Gopher Project wasn't created to save us. Amen. So, wait, maybe this was after the brainwashing? So, remember, didn't they say they made us forget we were ultimate students after we denied it, you know? Never mind. So we could live regular lives after we fake, we fake their... Yeah, the timeline makes sense. Heroes don't die. Heroes don't give up! Oh, is this what gave you a change of heart, Shu? Talk to, talk about it. That's why they're still alive! Because they're heroes! Mmm! Mmm! Heroes? Mm-hmm! Uh. I knew Shu felt all that guilt for denying it, bro. He's like, damn, we really are the hope of the world, huh? That was a memory right but that also could be fake i don't know maybe these flashback lights have been fake this whole time no it's from that flashback light yeah why did it activate so late and how did it activate you know oh, that timing is crazy <laughs> this flashback light has a special effect is this shuichi just now? Oh, we all got it at the same time? Uh, okay. That must have been the flashback light. The one that Monokuma used after Kaito's trial. Huh? After Kaito's trial? Hey. What did you remember? Uh, um... That memory... Was from when I tried to get away from the Gopher Project and threw away my talent. Yeah, the timeline makes sense. Oh, yeah. I remembered the same thing. Imagine we all talk to the same little kid. But why? Why did Monokuma give us that memory? And will we experience another flashback like the one we just saw? I, I don't know, but I, I can't hesitate now. Hey, Maki, let's focus on the investigation. There are a lot of things we need to check. Hey, you know, we'll think about that when we got the time to. Well... You're heading to Kokichi's room, right? Then I'll go with you. Huh? You will? You know, that's my bestie, bro. Me and her, like, we locked in for life. Because... Something about him... Concerns me. That's why I want to check. Okay. She looks... Worried. 
Did that flashback? Did you want to die? I thought you were done with that. What happened? Uh, um. N n no, nothing. Let's go. Even so, a hero, huh? Like Kaito always wanted us to be. You, ha this is what they were talking about. So what? I need to get some Mugi, Himiko, and Kibo back. You have increased your bond. You can move more debris than before. Okay. But I'm not done in here, though. I'm not gonna lie. Let's look at the showcase. There are matching shoes and suits of many colors here. Oh, nah, Kokichi was doing all them black faces and he got afros. Nah, bro. Y'all can't keep defending Kokichi on my comments, bro. <laughs> Hell nah. This is your goat. This is your king. I don't think I didn't see y'all say that. This is your king? This is your goat? Black face, afros, and suits? All right, that says a lot about you, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> you watching the wrong Let's Player. This is your king, bro. Hell no. Nah. I know how you really feel about the amount of melanin I possess. You're done. <laughs> he all keep you his fans canceled, bro. <laughs> there are matching shoes and suits of many colors here. Y'all are not safe. If this is the ultimate Supreme Leader's lab. Are these uniforms for the other members of the organization? I don't know. Because I, when I said Kokichi could actually, like, really be the ultimate liar as a talent, I was going to say, wouldn't that kind of con con conflict with, like, the dude from the second game, the ultimate imposter? You know what I mean? But then again, Shu's the ultimate detective when we've already seen the ultimate detective in the first game. You know what I mean? So maybe that doesn't matter. There are some unsettling objects here. Gas mask, handcuffs... There are also wigs and glasses for disguises, I imagine, but they seem comical. Like, bro, did blackface how many times this game and got two different afros for, for whatever he want to use it for? Nah, bro. He be blackfishing, and y'all, and that's your king. That's your goat. That's crazy to me. Hmm. This doesn't seem like something the remnants of despair would use. Right, so that's, that's noted down. Uh, I want to look at everything. I don't care, bro. Hopefully I don't waste too much time, but I need to see this. This is Kokichi's chair. Definitely something a supreme leader would sit in. But something feels off. It's all too cliche. It feels as if this, is, as if this entire room is just an elaborate prank, and that's really what his character had been, bro. Like I said, he could have just been lying about him being the ultimate supreme leader. Like, how the hell is that, like, a talent, for real? You feel me? Let's see this emblem. This must be the emblem of the organization that Kokichi leads. But do the remnants of despair put up emblems? I'm saying he not a, he's not actually a remnant of despair. That's why he was never able to confirm it himself. All right, let's look at this. The helicopter didn't dip out. A large table. When I imagine it's used for strategy meetings. There's nothing of any particular interest on top of that table. Alright, and now let's look at the jet helicopter. Just in case, y'all. A toy helicopter? Is this Kokichi's? How did it- how is it still up in the air if it stopped spinning? <sighs> you saw that? Alright, so we out of here then? That's everything we gotta look at? Monitor. Don't have time to be staring at a blank screen. Well, keep us keeping Monokuma and the Monokuma's been there to find the truth. Okay, and I'm assuming Maki just- I'm just making sure, y'all, you know? Wait, hold on, I see that remote right there. Back when we had been in our ultimate talents to escape the Gopher Project, I chose to walk a different path than that of an assassin. Now imagine I didn't talk to her. Oh, yeah. But in the end, I was dragged back. Ah, oh, man. Nope. It's nothing. Now's not the time to think about that. Hey. Let's go to Kokichi's room. That's what you wanted, right? Hold on. Don't think I didn't see this remote, though. That time really is moving. Helicopter controller. It looks like the controller is over there. But that's it. Just want to make sure I'm looking at everything. Would you like to leave? Okay. I'm assuming we can't fast travel since there's d debris everywhere, huh? You know what I mean? So let's get there. That time is moving faster and faster though. Hold on. Can I fast travel? Because if so, bro. I knew it, bro. 
I knew it. They wouldn't put debris in here and power of friendship stuff <laughs> if I could just fast travel, bruh. Let's hope I make stuff in time. That timer moved mad fast. It was not there before. I mean, I guess that's what a timer is, right? Of the dorms. We gotta go outside. Yeah, we gotta go outside, bro, for the dorms. Let's hope we don't get caught in a crossfire, bro. Because <laughs> the dorms are not in the same, uh, not in the school. Oh, no, they box it for real. Oh, my God, they box it for real. Get inside, Baki. <laughs> Duck down, bro. Wait, that's a warfare outside for real. Kokichi, Kokichi. There you go, right next to Keyboy's dorm, funnily enough. Right next to his boyfriend. Okay, let's see what. So this is Kokichi's room? Why does he have that Rentaro? Oh, nah, he's weird, bro. You see on the board he wrote me as trustworthy? Oh, wow. And he wrote everybody who and who and their victims and who he trusts. He put the model comes as annoying. So he thought Kiba was weird. He trusted me and was suspicious of Maki. Wow. Well, I mean, that makes sense. He was always on Maki's case. I don't know where he got all this stuff, but he hoarded a lot of things. It's unsettling, but he should investigate it. You're right. Right. Bro, by investigating this room, we might learn more about Kokichi. And why does he just have a horse head on his bed with a mono cub tablet? Like... Kokichi said that he was the leader of an organization opposed to the Gopher Project. In that effort, he tried to take the position of the mastermind. The flashback light helped us remember that the organization was the remnant, the remnant of despair, <laughs> allegedly. Kokichi was the leader of the remnants of despair? But is that the real truth? I feel as though there may be a lie in there. Yeah, he wasn't a remnant of despair, he was just weird. So you want to talk about that rent? And that's not to suspect you at all, bro. Okay. Let's look at this box of, box of documents. There are several cardboard boxes filled with documents. These look like blueprints. What kind of like I like I said, Kokichi a whole child for real, bro. Huh? Blueprints? This is stupid. They're mostly drawings of childish fantasy weapons like ray guns and beam swords. I wonder if the Electro Hammer and Electro Bomb blueprints are here. Maybe he drew whatever came to mind and then selected a few for me to create? So I'm thinking, was Kokichi maybe, like, actually a good guy deep down? You know what I mean? And, like, try... Well, like I said, like, you know, I kind of realized it. Like, you know, how he would go about it sick and twisted ways, but he would always be trying to help us. But then, like... It's like, why are you being weird to us? But then again, because he don't know who to trust, right? Like we saw, he ain't trust nobody, but possibly me. I don't understand. Looking at everything, a lot of these childish designs seem impossible to create. That's... That might have been Kokichi's intention. Huh? His intention? Yeah, maybe this was a test to see, like, who had access to what? Remember, he could have prepared a few fake blueprints to match the real ones. It's nearly impossible to check all of them, lowering the chance someone would find it. The mastermind. Hmm. You mean there might be something important hidden among this stuff? You're right. I believe that is a possibility, but we don't have time to look. Then... I'll do it. You see, like I said, when me and Maki work together, it's always efficient. That's why I love this duo. Huh? Remember the chapter 3 investigation? We would get into 50 50. Huh? Maki took a seat in front of one of the boxes and began searching the blueprints, like a real one. Uh, um... Maki? She's so real for this. Thank you. Hey, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. No problem. You know that's my, you know? That's my sis, bro, for real. Tell death do us part, bro. Uh, uh, platonically, though, y'all, like, you know? That's just how much of a homie she is. What is this? Collected evidence. Yeah, this from the... Hmm. Yeah, this is from all the cases. I was gonna say, this is the hidden camera I set up in the lock. How did he have access to this stuff? This is the hidden camera I set up in the library. 
And this is the inner tube that was floating in the pool. Ah. And this is the book from the kids child seance. So I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Off my screen. <laughs> it was gathering all the evidence from the past incidents. Yeah, and you see the one from Muse case, the VR headset. The murder weapons aren't here, but why on earth was he gathering all this? Was he trying to build a case against whoever the mastermind was? Like, like for the real world, like, you know, because you need evidence to prove that this happened, right? No. It's pointless to try and understand what he was thinking. You're right. Perhaps you're right. Maybe Kokichi was actually a good, like, like he was working on the right side. Not, like, not necessarily a good person, because we know, like, you know, he did some questionable stuff, but, you know, maybe he was working on the right side, just... Hmm. Terrible execution to make others see it, but maybe he didn't want others to see he was doing it, right? You know? That could always be possible. It's a monocugs pad. They were given to all of us as motives during Kirimi's cave. Let's open his and see what he really was. But the motives were switched up and we each got someone else's video. Fair. That's true. I don't believe this motive video is Kokichi's. I mean, might as well open it up and see. Then... There's no point in looking, is there? No. We should check. I want to know what he knew. It would explain his action. Right. And I touch my finger to the pad of videos that who thought we would have still been dealing with Mono Cubs pads in chapter six? <laughs> Whose video? Watch it be my video. All right. Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video. No, Kokichi did get his own. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado... There's no way we're about to play this. And the important people is about to be us. <laughs> Was Kokichi just the world's biggest tsundere, bro? There's no way that's what they're about to hit me with. What? Kokichi's... I mean, yeah, that kind of does make sense, right? That he would get his? Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. Oh, now nah, look how... So, oh, so that was his gang's outfit. It wasn't just him. Okay, interesting squad. Bunch of clowns for real. He caused mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization, DICE. Maybe they were working on the right side this whole time. Maybe. But, you know, D, despair inducing crime executives. I don't know. <laughs> despair inducing criminal executives. I don't know. And by mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. That's why it's just ultimate supreme leader, not ultimate evil supreme leader. He, he, so Kokichi really was just childish, bro. Anyway, Kokichi had 10 loyal goons working for him. And they bodied all them? These goons were like friends and family. The most important people in his life. What about his, his actual friends and family? He ain't have none? But then, a terrible event befell those precious people. They got beat and put in jail, bro. What kind of event? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> yeah, and if that was, if it was the remnants of despair, Monokuma wouldn't show it. Okay, never mind. So I might be wrong about Kokichi. No. So this was Kokichi's motive video. Why? Why did he have his own motive video? Did he exchange it with someone else? Maybe that's why Gonzo worked with him? No. Or maybe he was given his own motive video from the start? That could be possible as well. Like Kirimi. I see. So Kirimi wasn't the only one who got their own. Well, I mean, yeah, because if Kirimi didn't get someone else's, like, <laughs> you know? Didn't I say that when we first saw that as somebody? If she got her own, doesn't that mean somebody else got their own as well? I swear I did. Well, either way, it doesn't matter anymore. It is true, but the content of that motive video is disconcerting. Yeah, if they were just doing harmless pranks, bro, that's not no remnants of despair, because the remnants of despair get busy. Ain't nothing about them childish. It's inconsistent with the information we already know about Kokichi. But what can I deduce from that? 
Go keep these motor videos been added to the truth book. So after this, after it's done, we going straight into the final class trial. Like, is that what we do? Where we're going with this? I never thought that a motive video would be a concern. Now I literally just said that shoe. <laughs> Kokichi gathering all those pieces of evidence was coincidence, right? Well, that's all you wanted to look at, right? Because apparently none of this other stuff piques your interest, bro. Um. Or okay, let's talk to Maki then. How's your progress? Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you something. Huh? What is it, Maki? Well... Kaito believed Kokichi. He believed that someone's watching this killing game. What do you mean? What do you think? I mean, it makes sense. I'm... Exactly. Kokichi does have a compelling point. This killing game only makes sense if there's an audience. Why else would there be all of these rules designed to make it more interesting? Exactly. And why would it be so strict that they're followed precisely, you know? Because it's just like Juko Inoshima's killing game from the past. Talk about it. Hmm. Manakuma is particularly strict about upholding the rules and livening up the game. Is it because someone's watching? But we're all that's left of humanity, aren't we? I don't understand. Even if he did say it was to show someone, no one else is alive anywhere else, right? I mean, that's what we were led to believe. I wonder if someone really did infiltrate this place. Uh, okay. That is the mystery, and like Shu said. And so there's no more questions, and truth has not been revealed. But all mysteries conceal some truth. There is still a truth to find in this killing game. Whether that truth is hope or despair is another matter entirely, right? But all that matters is finding the truth. Killing game has been added to the truth bullet section of mono pad. That's crazy. We're really doing the whole uh, getting prepped for a trial from episode one of the chapter. That covers about everything in Kokichi's room. All right. Mm -hmm. If you're done, you can leave. I'm going to check the blueprints. But oh, okay. So you're gonna stay here because we rely on you the most, especially in this situation. Oh my gosh, I love the squad. After all. Your Kaito sidekick, Maki. Well, before you go, I found something strange that I want you to look at. You said I have a problem with that, but like we know what that what, we all know what that means, you know? Huh? Something strange? Uh, um. This isn't a will. What is this? Is this a real will? Shoot, it literally says it. <laughs> I think it is a real will, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's fake. He was a liar after all. But if it's real, why did he leave it? Well, I mean, that means he's been... We know he was planning to die himself. He wasn't going to kill nobody. Could it be... He left us his information in case his plan failed? Yeah, he's smart. He's <laughs> he not going to think, oh yeah, just because I came up with it, it's a definite, bro. He, like I said, his planning is top notch. He did? I don't think he would do something like that. Well, we should look inside. Then we'll know more. When I opened the envelope, small pieces of paper fell out. Huh? The second message is on the wall next to the boiler in the real garden. He's really making me go on a scavenger hunt for this, but I mean, hey. You know, it would be troublesome if the mastermind found this and like, you know, just took the note. So it makes sense. A second message? The wall next to the boiler? That's all. It's probably another one of his horrible pranks. I mean, it's the only thing we got, right? I'm not sure about that. But I should investigate just in case. It might be an important clue, right? We have no other leads, bro. Okay, okay. Do what you want. Just don't waste any time. It'll be done before you know it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's head to the boiler in the garden. Uh, Maki, thank you for your help. Love you, girl. I'll, I'll try and be safe. <laughs> Safety gang. <laughs> oh my gosh. How finna make it to the boiler in the garden, bro? It's getting lady outside. Hopefully, I'm making good progress on the investigation. The fact that it's time is like stressing me out, bro. I'm gonna go around this way with it. 
the boiler. Please be the right way. It has to be right. It ha- What the hell is that? Can I get this before? Come on. Y'all, it's literally right in front of me, bro. Shuichi. Get it, Shuichi. Oh my god, he about to make me lose my- But it's like right here. Shuichi, get it. I'm like, bro, I was pressing A all that time. Give me it. Made me waste precious seconds, bro. This has to be the boiler, right? Backyard. This has to be it, right? Yeah, boiler. Okay. The wall next to the boiler. What could it be? Perhaps it's just a prank. But we don't have any other lead, Shuichi. We don't have any other lead. Look at Kokichi helping us, though. That's kind of fire. I respect it. Around here? Twins B? This area used to be covered in grass. It has been completely removed. Shouldn't it be hard to find it now? Yeah. I let out a gas when I saw it. It says it. Twins B? Huh? So maybe that's why he wrote on the thing. It's, it all plays in, like, all of it's gonna connect into a big message? Maybe? Twins B. Because what, Horse A, Twins B? So remember, that's what it originally said, Horse A. Is this the second message? What could this possibly mean? If it was written by Kokichi like the other message, are they meant to be read together? The world is my. Maybe he. It's an anagram and we gotta scramble, like, jumble up all the letters? Then. In that case. It seems as though this message is complete incomplete. Yeah, two the world this world is mine, Kokichi Oma Twins B. I don't know, maybe we gotta scramble the letters around and it says something. You know? Two mysterious messages have been added to a two bullet section. I was not expecting an investigation episode today. This is so crazy to me still. But if this is incomplete, what was Kokichi trying to do by telling a another uh. one? Right uh, again? Leave me alone, Monokuma. He finna give us all our memories back? Golly, man. Golly. I know that, that had a hair anywhere. I know that ain't Makoto I'm talking to. But I hate to do this to y'all real quick. I've been holding it in. I gotta go take a piss. I'm sorry. Is this nigga serious? All right, y'all. Sorry about that. But you know, when nature calls, you gotta obey. <laughs> Shuichi Saihara. I know that ain't the goat himself, Makoto Nayegi. The parallel to the first game, me talking to him like he talked to the headmaster. Do you have your ultimate memory back? Look how depressed this man Shu looked though. Golly. Who's more emo, Shu or the protagonist of Persona 3, bro? You can't tell me they don't look similar. I wanted to say that, but like I didn't know when to. But you couldn't tell me uh, the protagonist from Persona 3 Reload that we playing and Shu don't look like, like they could be in the same family tree, bro. Talk to them, Shu. Yes. Okay. As the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy, I want to act. Makoto became the new headmaster to please cooperate with the Gopher Project. <laughs> Sorry. Talk to them, Shu. I do feel bad about this. I know how much you all wanted to run, even if it meant no longer being ultimate. Those of you who have to live on like this might be the real victims here. But the only people who can go through with this project are you 16 who haven't been affected. Sorry to break it to you, big bro, but it was only 15. Yeah, Kaito, you know, he was asymptomatic for a few years. <laughs> the fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. The Damn. Fate of humanity? That's a big bird in a bear, bro. But it's facts. What's the point? Damn, Shu. Huh? Even if this ridiculous mission is a success and we all survive. Y'all gotta rebuild humanity brick by brick, Shu. What's the point? 
To give us hope, that's the point. Give humanity a hope. Why try so hard to save the seeds of humanity? Pause on that, Loki. I don't understand. Perhaps you'll be the ones who will create that point. Mm. Huh? <laughs> it's true that this situation you're all being forced into is harsh. So harsh that you think it'd be better to just die? Damn. But I still want you all to live. For those of us who want to live but can't. You 16 who can live are hope itself and everything come back to hope and this like i said before they uh, revealed everything was connected i was saying they weren't saying it as much and now it's here and here to stay so please i don't want to see you give up hope i want you to keep hope alive come on shoe what's going on i was gonna say why did it pan up all nasty like that <laughs> my head I remembered something again that's it we were at Hope's Peak and we participated in the Gopher project I mean I guess this memory would confirm there was a new Hope's Peak right but then I don't know what is the credibility of this flashback lights you know I don't know I mean it all will be revealed right at the trial at that moment I heard something crumbling above me they finna reveal a new spot? Oh my gosh, I hope I have enough time on my limit, bro, <laughs> to finish this investigation, man. Oh gosh. They really box it outside, bro. Golly. There's another underground thing for me? Or like, what's up? <laughs> like, Kibo? You good, Kibo? Are you all right? Um, are you all right? Why did you just come crashing down in here? Shuichi, what's wrong? Are you all right? <laughs> Kibo? I hate when you do that one, bro. Like, skip it. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry. I experienced a sudden flashback in my hands. So he's getting the flashbacks while boxing. That's crazy. Then, did you remember too, Kibo? Yeah. We were at Hope's Peak Academy about to sign on for the Gopher Project. But... What is Monokuma thinking having us remember that now? At first I thought Shu was getting transparent, but I guess that's the smoke. I'm like, Shu, you good? As I thought. He's probably trying to make us feel despair again. Despair? No, but... These memories... Are we all not getting the same ones? Like, what? Look at how far the time advanced, bro! Right door? Did these doors say anything? Kibo looks like he's taking a lot of damage. Is he alright? Okay, so they said, if that talk to Kibo, got you. Let's talk about it. Are you alright? How is your investigation going? We'll be able to end the killing game your way. I hope so. Uh, um... It's going fine. I, I really just started. We're not making good time, are we? There are a lot of areas in this academy we haven't investigated. Hmm. Areas that you can't investigate. Hmm. Rentaro's lab is also inaccessible thanks to Monokuma's ridiculous rule. You think you can open, up, open that up for me? Okay. That's right. I'm concerned about that too. If only there were some way to get it. Um, I will help you. Uh, like I said, if nobody got me, I don't keep on deal. Huh? Help me? Logical. By destroying the door to his research lab so you can enter it. Well, that's... If you could, that would really help. Please. Then please head to his lab and I will meet you there. I'm worried. But be careful. Monokuma will be after you for conducting an investigation without his permission. The Exosos may not kill you outright, but they will definitely try to stop you. Uh, okay. Oh man, this turned into like an action game, bro. Listen closely. If things get dangerous, call me and I will deal with the Exosos. Huh? You're going to help me, Kibo? Yeah. I am not your enemy. That is why I'm helping you with your investigation. Right, we, we just on the different sides right now, but we're working towards the same goal, different methods. But only until the time limit expires at dawn. Oh gosh, am I making good time? 
He is so clean with them upgrades, though. Only until the time limit, huh? I suppose he's still hell-bent on destroying the academy. I'm scared. They talking about some... I just started and the timer getting mighty close. Still. You've changed, Kibo. Is it because of this situation? Or because he can't hear his inner voice? Right now, I should focus on Rantaro. He died before revealing his ultimate talent, but he seemed to know more than we did. Right, bro. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Did the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? And they keep showing this specific moment, bro. Before we even remember that event, he knew about the ultimate hunt. Yeah, we need answers. But why? There might be a clue somewhere that will lead us to the mastermind. All right. I'm going to do everything I can. No giving up. I won't give up on hope. I need to keep hope alive. To do that, I need to get inside Rintaro's lab. Congratulations, you just unlocked the Kibo gun. I'm like, the hell was that noise? Hold X or R1 near an exit soul to fill up energy. When the energy is filled to the max, Kibo will come to save you. Use it as you need. I really have a Kibo gun, okay. Uh, I just wanna see if these doors are gonna say anything. Real quick. There's actually a whole room in here. Oh, that's just in a courtyard? Um, all right. I guess it's safe to just try and get to it, bro. He said they gonna try and stop me. Oh man, look at Kibo boxing. I'm out of there, Kibo. Keep that, <laughs> keep, keep them, keep them busy for me, bro. Oh man, I do not remember where his lab is, though. Oh, sorry for interrupting you, but there's info you gotta know. I mean, yeah, you see what's staring at me. Hold X or R1 when near an exit will to ask Kibo for help. That's it. There's no trick to it or anything. Uh, um. How do I get to Rantaro's lab? Okay, so that, that, I have to go that way. Hey, yo, Kibi! Keyboy! Keyboy! Keyboy, I need your help, big bruh! I need your help, big bruh! Kibo! Give it to me, everyone! There you go, get him out! Also, I really did have to hold it! Get him out of here, Kibo! Good looks, brethren! I can't move that yet, okay? I do not remember where we're in Charles. Well, no, it's on the same floor as mine. Yo, this is intense, bro. Okay, yeah, no, no, this is the right way. I can move this stuff. Move it, move it, watch it. I need to watch my surroundings, bro. They get active here. Like, why are they inside the school, bro? Ain't that supposed to be boxing, Kibo? <laughs> why y'all here? Okay, I need to get to the third floor. Okay, I feel like one's on my bumper, bro. I'm out of here. This is crazy. <laughs> this is just episode one of this chapter two, bro. Man, hell no. Nah. Let's get there, Shuichi. Oh my gosh. Um, they got me scared, bro. In a tent. Like, this is supposed to be a visual novel, y'all. I'm not supposed to be scared like this. Or anticipating action like this. Like I said, dang and Rumpa, they different with it, bro. They real different with it. I mean, I gotta go through the freak nasty floor, too. I hope I'm going the right way. I do. Okay, good. There's not the freak nasty music this time. Hold on, I hear one on this floor. Hey, yo, Kibo. Hey, yo, oh, it's not full. Leave it to me. Kibo, get him out of here for me, big bro. Nice work. Nice work. Like I said, if nobody got me, I know Kibo do, bro. Get me off this freak nasty floor. I never wanted to come here again, bro. <laughs> Get me out of here. And this should lead to me to my lab. There we go. Hold on, bro. I see you. Come here. Come here. He over there dancing. Okay. You see him hitting the mic jack moonwalk? Okay. Not mad at that. Uh, Kibo, Kibo, Kibo. Where's the lab? Where's the lab? Where's the lab? Oh my gosh, the shot, the uh, statue came down. The school is cooked, bro. The school is cooked, brethren. That's it. All right, Kibo. Need your help, gang. Rantaro's lab. If Kibo breaks down this door. 
Come on, Kibo. I made it. Only had only had two little pit stops. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Kibo's goaded. Put some respect on my boy's Kibo's name. Shuichi. And y'all saw I started putting respect on him before the upgrade, so y'all can't say I'm bandwagoning right now. I've been asking for Kibo's respect. Put it on him. Pause. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> That was one hell of an entrance. Listen closely. I will destroy this door at once. Please stand back, Shuichi. Uh, okay. Who? Kibo, one of my favorites, bro. I love him. That's my guy. Like I said, if nobody got me, I know Kibo do. Blood at Ting. Blood at Ting, up your dunno. Damn. <laughs> Please. Well then, I leave the rest to you. If there's anywhere else you would like to go, but access, but can't. Please call me. I will blast open an entrance just like I did for you now. Like, you know how much he's working them to be able to take breaks to do this stuff? <laughs> and just as soon as he can, Kibo left. Mm. Kibo's him, bro. Anywhere I'd like to access. If I can go anywhere with Kibo's help, does that mean I can get in there too? No. Rentaro's case first. I need to investigate his lab. What are you, uh, what are you talking about? Where's that oh, other place, Shuichi? I'm praying, I'm praying I have enough time. All right. I'm finally in. So this is Rantaro's lab? What the hell is his talent, bro? He look like he be catching bodies in here too. But what kind of room is this? It's almost frightening, right? What was his talent? I thought I'd understand once I came here, but it's even more confusing, bro. Kimiko! She get in here. <laughs> I don't get it at all. Oh. Himiko. Hey, Shuichi. Was that explosion the sound of you breaking down this lab's door? That's pretty drastic. No. That wasn't me. It was Kibo. <laughs> what even is this place? It's got an awful atmosphere. Okay. It looks like some kind of puzzle room. Then. So maybe he was the ultimate quiz king and he got the title by winning game shows? Honestly, he could be ultimate anything and I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. I'm not sure. We should investigate first. Uh, me and baby sis. That's fine. And I shall help you. <laughs> this is the first time she's ever been my, my help. Be happy. The legendary mage is your sidekick. Okay. Yeah. That makes me feel better. I love Himiko, bruh. I love Himiko, bro. Alright, so... First off, let's start with this laptop, then. Good thing it's not much to investigate. Hmm. A laptop? Ah. This looks promising. My magic's telling me this is important. I'm sure it is, Free Ren. You're right. There might be a clue in here. I should check. I miss Free Ren so much, bro. It's only been over for like a week and I miss it. So bad. <laughs> What's the point of Fridays anymore if it's not Free Ren Friday? You said I'll post on Fridays? You're right. Looks like it still works. Let's just see what's on here. Hmm. What's on there? What's the matter? Talk to me. Uh, um. It's empty. What's that mean? Empty? What do you mean? Did Monokuma clear it? No. There's no data in it at all. Oh, my. What? Why put a laptop here if it doesn't even have anything interesting on it? You're right. It seems like that's the case. But... No, but my magic reacted to something. You see, she got caught again. She's a capper. There's got to be something. Check it better. Check it better? Anyway, what was that about magic? <laughs> I hate when people say that. Like, if I'm saying I'm having trouble with something, they're like, just do it. Oh, my God. That activates a different nerve in my head, bro. I see red. <laughs> Is this a vault? But it doesn't look like a normal vault. There's a clue somewhere in the academy. The hell? Thanks. It's vault door. It's like a puzzle. Look at the two dials. Yeah, I saw it. It's like we gotta put like some Resident Evil, bro. We gotta put stuff together. Hmm. The dial on the right is labeled A. And it has a bunch of Chinese zodiac animals on it. And the one on the left is labeled B. And it has a bunch of different astrological signs on it. And I'm not familiar with none of that stuff, bro. So it looks like if we move both of the dials to the right things, the vault will open. So do I gotta go somewhere else before coming back here? Um... It says something about a hint somewhere in the academy. Mm -hmm. 
Was there really a hint? Right? It'll be okay. Well, we don't need to think so hard. We just gotta try every combination. Do we have the time for that? How about that? So if there's 12 Chinese zodiac animals and 12 astrological signs, and it's just 12 times 12. Himiko, that's 144 different combinations. You realize that, right? Uh, um, I'm like, we don't have the time for that. That's 144. Too many to try all the combinations at random. What's that? And do you know the answer? Because I don't get it at all. <laughs> She's real for that. Hey. Wait a minute. Let me think. Please tell me you have, like, photographic memory. Because I don't think we have time to look around, you. There's an A and a B dial. One with Chinese zodiac and the other with astrological symbols. And the hint somewhere in this academy? I'm sure I could solve this. Hey, Suichi. I know I yelled at you just now, but talk to me when you're stuck. Like, how can you not love Himiko, bro? With my mind. That should help you have an epiphany. I am a legendary mage after all. Like, she's just that little sister, bro. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. There's no time. I have to try. I shouldn't expect these dolls. Oh, so we just brute forcing it? I can't figure it out. I can ask Kimiko. What? What do you mean, ask Kimiko? What? The hell? What? It's not possible to do this blindly. Might be better to talk to Himiko about it. Oh, I'm like, what does she know? I thought she said try it first, then talk to her. A hint somewhere in the academy. Maybe she could go look for it while I'm here? I wonder if it's like a diagram or some letters. It'd be a problem if it was some big object. I've almost got it figured out. Do I just not have enough mana? I feel as though I'm right on the cusp of discovering something. That's why I keep talking to Himiko, something will come up. So this is what we're doing. We're just taught. We're just yapping right now. Then a dial labeled A with 12 Chinese zodiac signs. A dial labeled B with 12 astrological signs. So we need to think about A, B, the Chinese zodiac and astrological signs. Am I missing something here? Like when do we ever see any of that? Those are the clues to opening this vault. I feel like there was something, but... Bruh, if it come to it, I'ma Google this one, y'all. Cause I, I'm on a time limit, bro. I don't got time for this. I closed somewhere in this academy. But I just can't think of any. Don't tell me. Maybe it was hidden really well? No. It must be a hint of some kind. There'll be no point if no one's... Is this Kokichi's hint? Horse A? Horse A Twins B. Kokichi, how did you even know this was in here? Could it be some psychological blind spot? Mm -hmm. A psychological blind spot, huh? That's a magical concept. Huh? A magical concept? Because I'm a mage. It's a technique mages use when casting spells. Okay. For example, when we cast big spells, we add a bunch of flashy over-the-top stuff. How about that? We have the audience focus on all that stuff to hide the source of our magic. The source of magic? Like the method behind it? <laughs> of course. My magic is very advanced, you know? Even if the source of ma magic from my spells was leaked, not just anyone could copy them. I actually don't need to hide it, but it's better safe than sorry. Okay. Right. Okay. Anyway, maybe the clue is hidden from us like that? We probably already saw it, but we don't know what's a clue yet. Hmm. I already figured it out. She'll catch up. <laughs> Something we already saw? Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna try regardless. Uh, that's it. Himiko's right. Uh, okay, they're making it obvious. Kokichi's message. Horse A, Twins B. God, yeah, okay. Can I do I get some credit for putting it together before they show me, or like did y'all do it too? Like, come on, man. When Gonza Force saw the message, it read horse A. But maybe Kokichi adding to that message was to hide it. But how did he figure that out though? It was just a diversion? 
Yeah, I already put two and two together, bro. Think about it that way. The other message. Twin B. Twins B. Yes, sir. Look at Kokichi helping from beyond the grave. I'll give him his respect. Those two messages are clues. I put it together a little faster than Shu, you know? So, Twins B. And then... Horse. Hey, hey, shout out Kokichi for this one, bro. Right, that's twins right there? There we go. All right. Yes, it opened. Hey, thank you, Kokichi. <laughs> we know he's not up there. Thank you, Kokichi. <laughs> I don't know how, but it opened. But what did all of this mean? Is that all right? The hen in the academy is the message that Kokichi wrote. But yeah, well, I guess lockpicking skills, right? That's how he would have got in here. If his, if Rantaro's lab also had a lock on it, I don't know. Cause go, yeah, lock. That's the only thing that makes sense. It was a clue for these dials. All right. If I remember correctly, the original message was written over. Right, Horse A. Remember. When Gonza first saw it, it just said Horse A. Hey, Gonza, shout out to you too, big bro. I would have not, I would have forgot if you ain't say it all those times. You too, Kokichi. Thank you for writing Twins B. I see you. <laughs> Kokichi added more to it. Right. To hide it. But that was just a diversion. Yeah, he must okay. have been able to get in here because of his lockpicking skills. Horse A was actually the complete clue. Oh my. I see. So the A dial should be on the horse. Okay. That's good work out of him. So the Chinese zodiac on dial A was horse. The other hint was hidden in the rear garden. Yeah. Remember. I, I figured it out, y'all. Like, we're on a time limit. I don't think we could yap this much. I see. <laughs> like, I know I got no problems with yapping, but, like, you know, we're, we're timed. Got it. So the B dial should be on Gemini. That all the Geminis watching? That's it. Yes. The astrological zodiac on dial B was Gemini. <laughs> so that's what it meant. Thanks for your deductions. Everything's all cleared up. He been close too precious, bro. Like, why? I'm glad we're at the end of the game because hopefully that means nothing's gonna happen to her. Like, if something happened to Himiko, I might have just needed to take a break from the series. I'm gonna be honest. But why did Kokichi add all that stuff to it? That's true. He was trying to make himself seem like he was the mastermind. He needed us to believe it. He was trying to be the mastermind. <sighs> Causing us problems even after he's dead. He's such a pain. But he just helped us though. <laughs> like what? Um, Let's see what's in the vault. If it was this difficult to get in here, there must be something important inside. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Is it okay if I barf, if I barf first? That's probably a drive for the computer, bro. <laughs> Do you feel nauseous when you're nervous? Yeah, because I know that it's little, bro. That has to be a drive for the computer. It has to be. I peeked into the open vault and found hmm, a USB stick. <laughs> that Monokuma pattern must mean there's something here, but how do we check inside? I could use that thing in this lab. There we go, give me that laptop. Come on now, time is steadily passing, bro. It's stressing me out. Okay. It looks like it still works. If I put the USB stick in here, I should be able to check the data. I grabbed the USB from the safe and plugged it into the laptop. I found a single file. Could it be... Rantaro's video. I knew we didn't talk about it yet. A video. I opened the video file and... Oh, hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? My gosh, Rantaro. <laughs> wow, bro. Talk about it. Taken by surprise. I, I gasped and stopped the video without thinking, even though I'm on a timer to play my life. Hey! What is this? Yeah, we saw this at the beginning of what? Last chapter? Sorry. That... That was Rantaro, right? I think. He probably recorded it here before he died. I was going to say, this looked like the same room. No. That couldn't be the case. 
The video was clearly recorded in Rentaro's lab. If I remember correctly. But we were only able to get inside this room just now. Maybe we were only able- Maybe it was actually locked because he died? No. You can go into people's labs after they die. So with this- This would've had to been right before everything went down with our brainwashing and stuff, right? No. It was supposed to open up after Gonta's case, but because Rentaro was already dead, it was locked. Permanently. But thanks to Kibo, we were able to get inside. But... Knowing all of that, how could Rantara have recorded a video in this room? From what, from before everything went down, you know? Right as it was about to go down type stuff. That might be true, but... Should we check the video first? Right, Shu? Stop jumping the gun. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, right. You said I'd be doing the same thing? You right. <laughs> You're so right. I turned to the laptop once again, and with a trembling hand, I played the video. Talk to me, Rantaro. Come in clutch, bro. Be useful for once. I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. I'm seeing you, not myself, bro. Guess I should start from the beginning. Loki, would this be a spoiler if I put it as a thumbnail, which I think? <laughs> first things first, I am you. No tricks, no actors. It's you. So he recorded this for himself. The reason you don't remember recording this is because that memory was erased. This was for himself. Think of this video as a message from the Rantaro before you lost your memory. Like I said, he was trying to warn himself. To the Rantaro after you lost your memory. Right before everything went down, brother. I did not mean to press that. I meant to press auto. So, let's get to it then. The reason I recorded this footage. Elaborate. I won the right to a special perk for participating in the killing game. Part of that perk is this video message. I beg your pardon? Monokuma said he was going to make some kind of puzzle for you. What killing game is he talking about? Because it's not this one. You were the first one out. But the fact that you're watching this means that you've solved it already. Yeah, you gassed yourself up too much, bro. You were the first body. <laughs> also, you can't share this with anyone. Too late. Me and my little sister watching right now. If you catch Monokuma shooing anyone away from you, that's why. Okay. There's another part to this perk. Something you get at the start of the game. He ain't even get that, bro. I bet you know what I'm talking about. Something you've had from the start, yeah? Ultimate Hunt Memories. Now, I thought that if you were smart, you'd have used it to end the killing game. Well... But if you're watching this, that obviously didn't work out. <laughs> Life's never easy, huh? So Rentaro was a good guy, even though he gave me such vibes off the rip. Well, anyway, that's the perk. Other than that, just like all the others. Mm. You go in, they wipe your memories, and you start killing. So there was multiple killing games, clearly, before this one. Like, that wasn't in the previous Dengen games. So they had off-camera killing games. That's the way it is. Golly, so you did catch bodies. Now, Monica, this killing game. Now, the important part of that rule is that... What just happened? My fault, y'all. My fault, I'm so sorry. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case, this killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Now, the important part of that rule is that... I guess I must have been holding that X button by accident. My fault, y'all. I thought it started glitching. I'm like, huh? He ran out of time regardless. <laughs> Looks like they didn't want me saying that, huh? Yeah. I guess you'll have to solve that little mystery, but hey. You're smart. I know you can do it. If only you knew you were the first body in the whole game, bro. Oh, there is one more thing. Which is? Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing. Trust me, you said that at the start. I caught on. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing. Game. That's your talent? That's why you get this perk. The survivor perk. Oh my gosh. But it's not all fun and games. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. They remember they had me thinking he was the mastermind, okay? So watch your back. Trust no one. And never forget. That's why he never told us his talent. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. Why'd you want it? No matter what. 
Hey, you were the first one body, bro. But he was on demon timing, bro. He was he came back with a vengeance. He said, I'm finna win the next one. I I survived, but I'm finna win the next one. So was there multiple killing games in the survivors? That's why Monokuma said it's not gonna be hard to find new people for killing games, huh? Because there was multiple of them going on, and then whoever survives, they wipe your memory and then just send you to another one, bro. That is insanity. And Charles' video messages have been added to a triple section of your mono pad. So there's been just multiple killing games going on for ever since the first two games. Wow, okay. What is this? This isn't the first killing game? A killing game that he wanted? Yeah, if he just said it wasn't the first killing game, and it's like, yeah, obviously it's the third game in the franchise, but he, like, you know, he said he's the ultimate survivor. He wanted another one. What's that mean? Shuichi? What did all of that mean? Who was Rantaro Amami? If I remember correctly, he said he survived the last killing game, and that video is a part of the survivor perk? Then, he was the ultimate survivor. An expert at death games. Why? Then, why did he die so quickly? Remember what he said? Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. But, Kayede... We just killed him because we thought he was the mastermind because he was acting fishy. What's that mean? Right. The one that was coming for him. Was he talking about Kayede? No. She didn't know Rantaro's identity. She thought he was the master. That's ex that's what I'm saying. Hmm. Then who is the one that knew Rantaro's true identity? Could it be... The real mastermind would have known. Then... So that really, so if the mastermind didn't interfere, that really would have been the mastermind that got got, is what you're telling me right now. In other words, the mastermind hidden in this academy set up Rantara to be killed? Uh, okay. I believe so. Well. For now. Hmm. He said he wanted this killing game? You already know this next child about to be four hours. Just let me know now, y'all. Y'all want it all in one big video, or y'all want, want multiple parts of the other of the next trial? Because you know it's gonna be the longest one yet. If last trial was almost four hours, how long do you think this one's gonna be? Just be honest, bro. Just let me know now. And just so you know, if y'all want it in one, it's gonna take a while to post. <laughs> I'ma just let you know now. Why would he want that? Jeez. Oh, if he hadn't done such a stupid thing, he probably wouldn't have been killed. Another killing game? Why was he even participating in the first place? What was the other killing game? Yeah, he said he won the other one, bro. Because the killing game is... I don't know. There was another thing. Rantaro said his survivor perk had another part, right? What was that other part? You're right. He said he had it at the start of the game. I'm assuming that's, his, that's why he knew about the ultimate hunt and stuff. But when we found his body, yeah, he had nothing on him. Remember correctly. All he had on him was his room key and the monopad. And that monopad was the same student handbook we had. Yeah, it was his memories. Then it might still be left in his dorm room. So that's our next objective. Okay. Yeah, it could be. I never imagined Rantaro, the first victim, would come up again like this. Y'all know how many times I said that this game? What? Uh, again? I'm saying the same thing, Shu. It's happening. Flashback! What are you finna show me now? Damn! Like, how do you start the chapter like this, bro? <laughs> Like this is still the first chat the first episode of the chat. Yo, she 
Luigi. I heard you're finally gonna take part in the gopher project. So these was my homies in class? What the hell? Yeah. So I did a set. Are you okay? Are you sure you're not overdoing it? That's definitely Makoto's voice actor. But yeah, so they were already infected. You're the one who's overdoing it. You should be resting at home. Hmm. No, I can't do that. You know how much longer I'll be able to miss. So these are they already infected. Like like they said, we were just immune, so we don't even gotta worry about catching it. Get any better if I rest. Golly. Hope's Peak Academy is working hard to create an antivirus. Right. Even if they do find a cure, the meteorites are still gonna be a problem for us. Yeah, y'all was in a lose-lose. Either the plague or the meteors. Hey, man, don't look so sad. You're about to go on an adventure, right? And they're real ones for being hype for me to live, bro, you know, instead of being jealous. Now that I think about it, 16 boys and girls going on a space trip together. Yeah. You guys gonna do it? That's what you're thinking about right now. Really? What are you guys talking about? All right? Congrats, Shuichi. I heard there are some hot girls there. You know, Kirimi, Mew, Kaede, you know, my loves, my beloveds. I told you, don't look so sad. Damn, and they really just doomed, bro. I don't know if I can stand it. I have to leave everyone behind. Right. You have to go. Begging you. Yeah, that's Makoto's voice actor. No matter how hard you try to stretch your voice, bro, I know it's you. Huh? Know that voice anywhere. <laughs> Damn, he had a Kaito cough and all. Shuichi, you're our pride. You know that? Damn, so this was my squad for real, my friend group. <coughs> they just weren't the exception like Kaito, bro. Yeah, you have to do it. For us. We're leaving everything to you. R.I.P. the classmates one, two, and three, bro. Y'all was real ones. <laughs> if things get too rough, then just remember all the fun times we had together. Oh, nah, they robbed me of those memories, bro. So, don't give up. You're our hope. It's a 35 episodes to even know y'all existed. I'm everyone's. Ugh. Everyone's hope, Shu. That's who you was. Ugh. I'm guessing everybody got those same memories. Pat. That memory. Well, of their friend group, obviously not the same one I got. Damn. Why did I have to remember my friends now of all times? So that flashback light was just, it gives us memories whenever, bro. Uh, um. This is Monokuma's doing. He made us remember this. But why? Why make us remember that? That memory is no cause for despair. Right. That's right. There's no way we can give up. I promise I'd do my best for them. Ah. So there's no way I can give up. Uh, get all fired up, sis. Ugh. Okay. So we're looking for the other part of our entire survivor perk, right? Leave it to me. I'll check every nook and cranny of this room with my magic, of course. So I go get Rentaro's lab. I mean, Rentaro's room. Breathing hard, Himiko ran off. What does all this mean? What are lies and what is the truth? Aw oh, man, I'm only halfway. Do I even have enough time for the last two? You have increased your bond. You can move more debris than before. Okay, now I still have a decent amount of time. Um, okay, let's not waste it though. I just want to make sure everything's done with this lab. So where are we going next? To Rantaro's uh, room? Back to the dorms? They really got me running back and forth. 